So I woke up this morning with my mind dead on freedom. And I heard Mitch McConnell say that uh, he was going to do everything he possibly can to prevent Joe Biden and the Democrats from achieving whatever they're trying to do. And as I heard him, I, rem rem I was reminded he said the same thing about Barack Obama. So the thought that crossed my mind is this Mitch McConnell, as God, he's setting the agenda or uh, instituting the agenda set by others. It's as if it's us versus them. So how many of you will be sent to hell by something like that? Well, I would say by Mitch McConnell, all non-whites and all whites that side with non-whites. This is the way that they've painted the picture of God to Americans and to all non-whites. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this in a matter of minutes. The truth of it is this. As far as I can see it, it's God and the anti-God. Or if you don't want to say anti-God, say God and, and satanic or Satanism, whatever you want to call it. It's just like Mitch McConnell. It's just like Donald Trump. They both exemplify exactly what that devil, that God and liar was all about. Walked up there, God, and made the world out here all beautiful. Now he bring man, humankind out there and say, this is yours. This is your playground. Anything that you wish, anything that you can imagine, it is in your ability to cause a manifestation thereof. You are an extension of me, God. Whatever that is. And all of a sudden, he just say everything. There's one thing I don't want you to do. And I know what it was. They talk about a tree. They talk about an apple. They talk about a snake. To me, it was this. Trust me. I am your father. I am your maker. Trust me. And I will lead you down the path of righteousness and peace. That's what it said to me. And this other guy comes out there saying, or this other spirit comes out there saying, no, I don't believe that. You can, you ain't got to listen to that. You got your own, do your own thing. That's how come everybody grow up and say, we got to leave our parents. Because now we've grown. You don't have to leave your parents. You don't have to leave God. You know, you're just branching on out. You Don't be leaving. I'm grown now. No, you're not all that. You still got under this guidance. See if you miss it, you missed it. So what I'm basically saying in a matter of uh, another minute, I guess, is that in God's way, there would be no suffering. There would be no pain because we the people would take care of one another. I don't know. Every time in America, every time they see somebody trying to take care of somebody else, they think that's a sin. That's ugly. That's because that's the satanic ness of the people, of the human race. So I say to all of you today who hear my voice, you have chosen the system over God. Now, I know you go to church every Sunday. I know you pray. You get on your hands and knees. You tell everybody how wonderful God is to you. But the truth of the matter is you have joined the Antichrist. You have joined Satan because you have accepted what the world says. You have accepted what your system of government says. That there's pain and suffering. There's cops beating, killing folks. There's treating uh, people of color, second class citizens, is okay. As long as you got a job, you can pay your little bills, have your little place to stay, get your little car to run, have a little food in the refrigerator, you don't care about anything else. And God says that's the devil. Now I'll leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. You think about it and see what you're going to do with it. Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus Say goodbye.